Hey everybody, this is the Boston Gentleman here. I uh, just have a quick tutorial for you, super fast. I know this may seem basic, but there are some people out, here, out there who aren't so tech savvy and they don't know how to do this. So that's what I'm going to teach you right now. Basically, it's how to turn on Bluetooth on your Windows 10 PC if it does have Bluetooth. Not, not every PC will have Bluetooth. Uh, some do, some don't. Um, I am glad that mine does because uh, it's very convenient. Um, if you don't have Bluetooth already built into your PC, you're going to have to buy a Bluetooth dongle. And I'll leave a link um, in the description to some other dongles, maybe on like Amazon, uh, stuff like that. You can buy them at Best Buy, really anywhere that sells technology. Um, so anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move over to that. Uh, so I got my settings up here. I'm just going to close that out real quick and start over. So let's see here. So first, what you want to do is go over here to this icon. This is called the Action Center. I'll click on that. You'll see Action Center up here. Um, there's all these different buttons in here, and it gets a little confusing sometimes. It's like, what does this do? What does that do? But uh, basically, all we're going to worry about for this particular um, uh, tutorial is is this button right here. So, so that I just click that, and that, what that did was turn my Bluetooth off. As you saw, I said off. So I'll click it again, and that turns it on. So when it's lit up uh, this kind of, you know, blue color, bluish greenish color, that means it's on. Now, um, when you want to actually get into the details and actually connect a device, I can show you that as well. You'll click on connect. This is how you connect all wireless devices. Um, I'll disconnect so I can start over and show you how it's done. So basically, this is these are my Bose headphones. Love these things. Um, what you want to do is click on it. And it'll start connecting. Now, of course, there are you know you have to put your Bluetooth device into pairing mode, and you know all that good stuff with the actual device itself. So that I can't unfortunately show you, um, you know, because um, so now that you see it's connected, it says connected voice and music. The reason why it says voice is because this is actually a uh, Bluetooth headset as well has a microphone. So whenever something has a microphone, it'll have give you the option of using the voice and being able to record with your microphone. For example, I could record this video with the microphone on the headphones itself. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll be great quality, but that's something you can do. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Uh, so again, I'll click out of here. You go to Action Center, Bluetooth. And if you don't see this icon here, if you don't see Bluetooth, that means your PC does not have it. So unfortunately, you will have to buy a dongle. And again, I'll leave some link. I'll leave some links in the description. It'll have. It'll basically be just an Amazon search of Bluetooth adapters. Is the correct word for it? The correct term. Um, it'll just. There's tons of them. There's so many different ones. So basically, I'd, I'd hate to choose one and say, yeah, you should buy this one, because you know, really, there's, diff there's different ones for different needs. So you just go out. You look for it. See which one you like the best. So again, Action Center, Bluetooth. Make sure that it's on, lit, and when you want to connect the device, if it doesn't already automatically connect, you want to go over here, you just disconnect that, it takes a little, couple seconds, click it again maybe, okay, so now, see it's paired, so that's, that's, that's the part you have to do with your Bluetooth device itself, you have to pair it to the computer. But once that happens, basically what you would have to do is hold the button, like basically hold the power button. There's usually a pair button or a power button, some kind of just singular button that you have to hold for a while to put into pairing mode. Just read the instructions for your Bluetooth device, or if you're you know tech savvy enough, just kind of mess with it, and eventually you'll get it. Uh, so again, it's paired now. I'm going to click on it, connect. Okay, there you go. So again, action center. Bluetooth on, connect, and there's my device. And I'll click on it to connect it. And once that is connected, I will be, um, I'll have a Bluetooth uh, headset uh, slash headphones, you know, connected to my computer, and I can listen to all my music, all my sounds, everything on the computer itself. I can use, I can listen to it with. Oh, I couldn't connect. <laughs> that's okay. I can listen to it with the Bluetooth headset itself. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Um, oh, there's actually one more thing. So see this little. Uh, icon right here, this Bluetooth device icon. Um, that'll happen when you click on, when you turn Bluetooth on. So when you, if you double click this, that will bring up all the Bluetooth settings here. 
and these are really nice because you know you can turn Bluetooth on here. You can um, you can add keyboards, mice, pens, like Apple pens, stuff like that. I think uh, audio. You know, this is where my microphone. I'm using Blue Snowball. That this is great too. You know, so everything is here. So if if you if you know if you don't really like this whole setup here, then you can always double click that, go here, or you can go to Access Center, go to All Settings, and that'll uh, you'll just click on devices and that'll bring you to the same place to the Bluetooth and other devices menu. So, all right, guys, I just want to get that quick thing out there. So, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.